This is Sarah Satch with Posh Pooch Designs. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the Autumn Chill Wrap Shawl. And it is made with any worsted weight number four yarn. It's a wonderfully easy pattern with wonderful, gorgeous results. Now the one that I have right here that I've already made is made out of the new Hobby Lobby Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel in these beautiful fall colors. For today's demonstration, I'm going to use this Burnett Pop. And this one's called Full Spectrum. And I thought it had really nice colors and it would make another really nice wrap. The neat thing about this wrap is we begin at one corner with just a few stitches and we increase every row until we reach a certain row and of course I will talk to you about that a little farther on in the video and then once we finish the uh, tapered portion then we will stitch across the same amount of stitches for as long as we want it if you make this pattern according to the pattern that I have written, you're going to get a wrap that measures about 90 inches long and about 25 inches wide at the widest portion. But you can continue to add as many rows as you want to to make it as long as you want to so it's completely versatile. And each row equals about an inch depending on how tightly or loosely that you stitch. So it's a really great versatile pattern. Now I love this pattern for these types of yarn that have the, the uh, big color changes, but you don't have to do that. You can use any worsted weight number four yarn that you want to. We're going to be stitching today with our eye hook. And the eye hook is an I-9, which is a 5.25 millimeter hook. You're going to need a needle to weave in your ends and a pair of scissors. Now, like I said, if you make this wrap according to the pattern that I have written, you're going to need about 14 to 15 ounces of yarn. To begin our wrap shawl, we're going to be starting at this end and then we'll be increasing as we go along. Let me go ahead and move this one out of the way. And the way we begin is we're going to begin with our slip knot and then we're going to chain 14 chains. Whoops. All right, let me count, make sure I chained enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there's my fourteen chains. We're going to place one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. The first three chains count as a double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, go in that fourth chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and go through the second two. And now I'm going to place one double crochet in each of the stitches across. All right, let's make sure I have the right amount of stitches. My chain three counts as my first double crochet, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We need to begin with twelve double crochets. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to turn our work. Let me get my hook back in there. There we go. Popped right out of there. All right, so for the next row, we're going to place one double crochet in the next double crochet. The first chain three counts as one double crochet, so we're going to go in the next stitch. All right, so now we have two double crochets. We're going to chain three. We're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three. And we're going to place one double crochet in the next two. One and two. And see there's that chain three space that we made. We're going to chain three. We're going to <clears throat> we're going to skip the next three. One, two, three, and we'll place one double crochet in the last two double crochets. And of course that chain three is our last double crochet because it counts as a double crochet. And this is the way row two should look. Now, at the end of row two, we're going to chain seven additional chains. And this is the way we do the increase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and this is the way we will increase on every row. So we're going to place one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook one, two, three, four, and again our chain three counts as our first double crochet. And then we're going to place one double crochet in each of the chains. We're going to place one double crochet in each of the double crochets. And then we're going to place three double crochets in this chain three space. It's like that. One double crochet in each of those two double crochets. and three double crochets again in the chain three space. And then one double crochet in those last two double crochets. And of course that chain three from the previous row counted as a double crochet. Then we'll chain three. One, two, three. See how that increased us? And we're going to repeat what we did on this row, only we're going to have an additional chain three space and two double crochets. So we're going to turn one double crochet in the next because our chain three counted as our first double crochet. Then we'll chain three. We'll skip three, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next two. One and two. All righty, so now we're going to chain three. We're going to skip three, one, two, three, and one double crochet in the next two. One and two chain three. Whoops, yarn's getting a little caught. There we go. Skip three, one, two, three, and one double crochet in the last two. One 
and two. And you can see how we increased here and we have one more chain three and two double crochets than this row and we're going to do the same thing. We're on the end of the row, we're going to chain the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like we did here, turn our work, one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four. The chain three counts as one double crochet, and then we double crocheted in the next, and then we're going to double crochet in those chains. Then we'll double crochet in each of those two double crochets. And then we'll double crochet three times in the chain three space. Whoops, well, I think I got a little yarn barf there. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put one double crochet in each of those two double crochets. And then we're going to put three double crochets in the chain three space. And this is the way this pattern is going to work. You'll have a row of solid double crochets like this row, and then the next row will be the open where we have the chain three spaces. And it just makes a really lovely but simple pattern. All right, I did the three double crochets in that last chain three space. I'm going to place one double crochet in the last two stitches. And I'm going to chain three and turn. And see how that's looking? See our tapered edge there? It's a really simple way to make a really pretty edge. So our chain three counted as our first double crochet. Then we'll double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to chain three. Skip those next three and place one double crochet in the next two. chain three, skip the next three, and double crochet in the next two double crochets. So really, if you know how to double crochet and you know how to chain, you can do this pattern. One, two, three, one double crochet in the next two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one double crochet in the last two. There we go. And if you can't remember as you're moving along which row you do your increase on, it's always on the row with the chain three spaces. So now I'm going to chain seven. And this is the way this pattern will work for 30 rows. Double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Then we'll double crochet in those chains. One, oops. <laughs> One, two, and three. Then we're going to put one double crochet in those next two double crochets. Three double crochets in the chain three space. One double crochet in the next two double crochets. One and two. 
and three, or yes, <laughs> three double crochets in the chain three space. I was going to say no too. We always put three double crochets in the chain three space, always. That keeps our count even because we're chaining three. There we go. Three double crochets <laughs> in the chain three space. One double crochet in the next two. Three double crochets in the chain three space. and one double crochet in the next two. See, it's growing bigger and we're getting our scalloped edge. And I love when you do it this way, the edges of this curl up just a little bit. It almost gives it a shell look, but it's not a shell stitch, but it almost just gives it that pretty, pretty shell look. All right, let me show you one more time how to do this row. One, two, three. One double crochet and this uh, next stitch because our chain three counted as our first double crochet. Now we're going to chain three. We'll skip the next three. One, two, three, and stitch one double crochet in the next two stitches. Now another thing to watch as you're moving along is to make sure that your double crochets all line up and your chain three spaces all line up. And that will also be a clue to you as you're going along if you're counting and staying um, lined up. And if you're off, you'll know that maybe you skipped only two or maybe you skipped four by accident. I know when I'm crocheting along on a pattern that I have memorized and I'm going along and I'm watching news or TV or a movie or something, it's easy to get off count. Alrighty, so in order to stitch this portion of our wrap shawl, we're going to continue this particular pattern, adding seven chains, turning, row of solid double crochets, and then we'll do you'll turn and do the two, three, two, three, two, three, over and over again until you reach your 30th row. So this is the way that this pattern will work for the scalloped edges. You'll continue to repeat the chain seven, stitching a solid row of double crochets like this one, and then you'll turn and do the row of double crochets, chain three, skipping three for the next row. And you will increase approximately two inches when you add those seven chains. Now, it's up to you if you want to make this longer or shorter. If you do this according to the pattern, you'll need to repeat this for 30 rows. And that's this one here that I've got. This is 30 rows long and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I did this pattern um, according to what I like. But if you would like your, your section to be longer before we start going straight, you can make more rows. Just remember, you're increasing by those two inches for every row. And if you continue to make it bigger, your wrap's going to be bigger by two inches for every seven chains that we add. 
So basically every scallop row is going to be two inches longer. All righty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more time how to do this row or this style, this edge. And then I'm going to uh, show you how to stop increasing basically. <laughs> Let's do one more row together just to make sure you understand how it works. At the end of this row, I chained seven. We're going to place a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Remember, our chain three counts as a double crochet. Now we're going to place one double crochet in the next three chains. There we go. Got a little bit of a string there. All right, so now we're going to place one double crochet in the next two double crochets. All righty, now we're going to place three double crochets in the chain three space. Okay one double crochet in the next two. Three double crochets in the chain three space. And we'll repeat this all the way across. One double crochet in the next two. One, or I'm sorry, three double crochets in the chain three space. One double crochet in the next two double crochets. And three double crochets in the chain three space. and chain three. So on each row at the end, we chain seven, we double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, and then we stitch one double crochet in those chains and a solid row of double crochets across, stitching one double crochet in each of the double crochets, and then three double crochets in the chain three spaces. We chained three and we're going to turn. Our chain three counts as a double crochet and then we double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain three. Skip three and double crochet in the next two. Chain three skip three and double crochet in the next two. And again, we'll repeat this all the way across. Okay, we're at our last, on this row anyway. <laughs> Chain three, skip three, and double crochet in the last two. And it's on this row where we did the two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets, that we increase at the end by chaining seven.
And this is how this pattern works. And that's how we do the increases. So this would be a good place to go ahead and pause the video and do your 30 or however many rows that you want to do for your scalloped edge. Now keep in mind that the width that you get here is the width that your wrap will be. So if you want to make this into a scarf, it makes a great scarf also, just don't make it as wide. So continue, like I said, to do your increases for 30 rows for the written pattern or as many rows as you would like for your project. If you want to make your wrap shawl into a scarf, I'm making one that's 12 inches. So I only, I only want to do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 rows of increase. And of course the next row will be the next row which will make it the 12th row. And I think this makes a lovely scarf with this scalloped edge. But whether you're making the scarf or the wrap, I'm going to show you what to do now that you're done doing your increases. Here's our row. We did the uh, chain seven, and then we did a solid row of double crochet. So we're going to turn, and we're going to do everything exactly the same. The only difference is at the end of the row, we're not going to chain those seven. Okay, so my chain three counts as a double crochet and I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch. I'm again going to chain three like we've done on these other rows, skip three and double crochet in the next two. Chain three, skip three and double crochet in the next two. And you'll do this all the way across, whether you're making the scarf or the wrap shawl. Okay, we're at the last three. We're going to double crochet in those last two. One, two, three, there we go. Make sure it didn't look right there for a second. Okay, now, in the, the previous rows where we wanted the scalloped edge, we would chain seven, but we're not going to do that. We're only going to chain three because we don't want to increase anymore. So we'll turn our work and instead of chaining seven and all of that, we're just gonna turn our work, chain three, and just place a double crochet in the next double crochet, and three double crochets in the chain three space. There we go. Hit my knuckle. All right. And you can see that that's going to keep us from increasing. See, and our sides will be this exact size from now on. So my scarf that I'm making, or the wrap that you're making, or the wrap that I made already, no longer will have any increases. It's going to be this size. So when you get it to the width that you want, don't do the chain seven, you chain three, and just continue to repeat the pattern that we've been doing without that chain seven. So 
So I'm doing the two double crochets and then three double crochets in the chain three space, just like we've done previously. If you're doing the scarf, you're only going to need about five to six ounces, depending on how long you want to make your scarf. Instead of the 15 or 14, I think it's 14 ounces that you need to make the wrap. Whoops. Didn't go through both loops, did I? There we go. One, two, three, one, two double crochets, three double crochets in the chain three space. And the two double crochets. And chain three. All right, so once you've reached your width that you want across, we're not going to make any more increases, and you just continue to repeat a row of double crochets and then a row of the double crochet chain three for these nice spaces across. And that's how you finish your wrap as long as you want it. Now, when you get it as long as you want it, make sure you end, of course, on a double crochet row so that you don't have these spaces on the end. And that's basically how you make this scarf or wrap. Here's the end. You can see I ended on the double crochet row. And this is a fun pattern, it's an easy pattern, and you get elegant and classy results. This is my Autumn Chill Wrap and Scarf Crochet Pattern. <music>